Hello everyone, this is Umar Sheikh and you are listening to me on my YouTube channel, The English Learning Tree. So friends, today we are going to learn class 2 of English Speaking Basics. So let's start. I am calling to plus verb. When using the words I am calling, you are stating that you are actually using the phone to call and relay information. Here are some examples. I am calling to tell you about my day. I am calling to accept your invitation. I am calling to answer your questions. Next is, I am working on plus verb. I am is a contraction for the words I am. The phrase working on relays a physical or mental effort towards an accomplishment. Here are some examples. I am working on a big project. I am working on training my dog. I am working on making new friends. I am working on educating myself. Next we will learn I am sorry to plus verb. Saying you are sorry to expresses a feeling of sympathy or regret. Here are some examples. I am sorry to be so late. I am sorry to hear about your sick mother. I am sorry to waste your time. I am sorry to make you feel so bad. I am thinking of plus verb and ing. Thinking refers to a process of thought, forming an opinion or judgment. When expressing I am thinking of, you are letting someone know what you are personally thinking. Here are some examples. I am thinking of checking out the new movie. I am thinking of filming my vacation. I am thinking of following a healthy diet. I am thinking of increasing my workload. I will help you plus work. This lets you inform someone that you are willing to provide assistance. This could refer to something physical or mental, like helping, helping someone to think or remember something. Here are some examples. I will help you cook dinner tonight. I will help you raise money for your charity. I will help you register for your class online. Next is, I am dying to plus verb. When using the word dying, in this manner, you are referring to wanting or desiring something greatly. Here are some examples. I am dying to relax on the beach. I am dying to pick some fresh fruit. I am dying to order some desserts. I am dying to find out if I got the job. Next we will see the concept of it's my turn to plus verb. The word it's is a contraction of the words it is. When stating my turn, you are telling someone that it is time to change position or position focuses on to you. Here are some examples. It's my turn to walk you home. It's my turn to do laundry. It's my turn to work late. It's my turn to take out the trash. It's hot for me plus noun. When saying that something is hot for me, you are informing someone that what you are talking about is difficult or challenging for you. Here are some examples. It's hard for me to accept what you are telling me. It's hard for me to argue your point. It's hard for me to balance my checkbook. It's hard for me to concentrate on the task. It's hard for me to consider your other options. I have heard that plus subject plus verb. You are letting someone know that you are aware of something 
or that you have been informed of something that is taking place. This could be something that has already happened or something happening in the near future. I apostrophe V E is a contraction of the words I have. Here are some examples. I have heard that you got a new job. I have heard that you want to leave your job. I have heard that you got a new car. I have heard that you like to jog. Let me plus verb. Let me is suggesting that you are asking for permission or an opportunity to do something. Here are some examples. Let me make my own decisions. Let me offer to help you. Let me open the door for you. Let me pause and think about what you are doing. Next concept is thank you for. Saying thank you is telling someone you appreciate what they have done. This could either be something they did for you or for someone else. Here are some examples. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for helping me move. Thank you for informing me about the job opening. Thank you for making that package for me. Can I plus verb? When ending a sentence with a question mark, you are asking the person or people you are talking to a question for which you would like an answer. Here you are asking permission to do a particular action. Here are some examples. Can I answer your question? Can I attend the event? Can I move to another spot? Can I call you tomorrow? Can I complete this letter? Can I explain myself? I am not sure if. Subject plus verb. I am not sure expresses a feeling of uncertainty or lack of confidence on a particular matter. Here are some examples. I am not sure if they will offer me the job. I am not sure if she will return my call. I am not sure if my five will understand. I am not sure if we will go out tonight. Do you mind if I plus verb? You are asking someone in present tense if they object to something you are asking. Here are some examples. Do you mind if I excuse myself? Do you mind if we left early? Do you mind if I take a nap? You could also use the word would. Here are some examples. Would you mind if we went out to eat? Would you mind if I opened the window? I don't know what to plus verb. You are letting someone know that you are not sure about what is being asked. You may also have no knowledge or opinion on a topic. Here are some examples. I don't know what to eat for dinner. I don't know what to buy you for your birthday. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do with my spare time. I don't know what to do for vacation. I should have plus past participle. Should is the past tense of the word shall. When using the words should have, you are talking about something in the past that you ought to or might have done. Here are some examples. I should have gone with you. I should have studied more for my test. I should have read the directions before starting. I should have eaten breakfast this morning. So friends, aaj ke liye itna hi. If you like the video, please comment on it, share it, 
and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. I am Umar Sheikh signing off.